Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is The Amazing Guy, and right now I'm bringing you a Modern Warfare 3 trailer breakdown on the new Modern Warfare 3 DLC season, as they like to call it, and this is going to be an in-depth review of the trailer that was just posted today, and um, I guarantee you guys are going to learn something in this video that you probably don't already know, a lot of things for that matter, and some of the things that I'm going to be discussing in this video are going to be obviously the two new Modern Warfare 3 maps, Liberation, and the other map that's in Italy that it looks a lot like Favela that I cannot pronounce for the life of me. <laughs> we'll see that later in the video. And then also new Spec Ops missions. That's right, new Spec Ops missions and an extended campaign. So definitely off the bat right there, three exciting things. That's not it. This is going to be an in-depth review of this trailer. All rights are owned by Activision in this video. I'm only reviewing it for educational purposes so that the COD community can get a better understanding for all the you know, the, you know, the high-profile Call of Duty stuff. So, let's go ahead and get this video started here. So, go ahead and start playing it. And as you guys can see, this is going to stay up for like five seconds. And it's going to go into this pretty neat little intro right here. So, um, eventually after this intro is over, you're going to see Mr. Robert Bowling. And he's going to talk we're it over. doing an entire season of content for Modern Warfare 3. If you're an elite premium member, you get content every month for nine months. Alright, so I just paused it, and what you just hear Mr. Bowling say is that if you are a COD Elite Premium member, then that for the next nine months, you're going to get new DLC nine months straight. You heard that right, so that's something I personally am very excited for. The next nine months are going to be great, and hopefully a lot of other people in the Call of Duty community are really excited for that too, because I am, and nine months, that's crazy for DLC. We'll see all the stuff that's going to come out. I don't know if it's going to be in packs or when all this stuff is going to come out but i do know on january 24th for cod premium members that you're going to get those two new maps as um this is going to be the main focus of the video that i'm going to show you so go ahead and unpause it again once you've subscribed all of the content will be made available to you directly from your console and with this new season it's how you'll get all that content month after month the modern warfare 3 dlc season kicks off with two multiplayer Alright guys, so I just paused it here. Um, you Well, first of all, um, let's go over what you guys just kind of heard. So the maps are going to be available for download on your console, and I don't know if it's going to be built in with like a Modern Warfare 3 update for the game. Most likely it's going to be up, um, uploaded on the actual Xbox Marketplace or whatever it is for PlayStation or PC where you can download it from there, like just like you would any other map pack for any other Call of Duty, and then you can play it. But now what you guys can see on the screen is a snapshot of the map of Liberation, and... Um, you know that this map looks like to me it's definitely um, a big map is what what it looks like unless it's um, the actual size of the little thumbnail there but I highly doubt that um, it looks like it's a wide open map you know maybe kind of like a wasteland or in some ways like a state from Modern Warfare 2 so um, this might not be ev anybody's necessarily favorite map if you are more like run and gun which is what I prefer I don't like it um, as much as I used to I used to um, camp a little bit more than I do now, but um, you know, we'll, we'll see how this map plays out there. Sometimes, Finny Ward's really good at making maps, and Sledgehammer Games and Raven Software are helping them on all DLCs, so let's we'll see how this map is going to turn out. I'm just about to, like, play it and unpause it, like, like instantaneously so you guys can see the next map, Maps. what it looks like. And then there is the, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it like Piazza or whatever. I, I don't even care. But that, this map looks like it's definitely going to be a close quarters map. And it's supposed to be, um, you know, kind of like Favela where it, it has like, um, it's very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Vert it has a lot of verticality for it. So hopefully it'll be a map that you can enjoy just like Favela. It was run and gun, but definitely I think it's going to be a little bit more close quarters. As you guys can see, there's like seven big buildings that you can um your eye will catch just off the building is what it looks like and um we'll see how this map plays out i just want to show you that screenshot um obviously not to scale but we'll go ahead and play it again one is called Giazza. This takes place on the coast right, of Italy. Giazza. The I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. And this one takes place in Manhattan. Liberation is awesome because it takes place in New York. All right, so you just heard um, Mr. Bowling say Liberation is awesome because it's in New York, and that's why that map is awesome. So we'll go back um, to the the map that you just saw. Those screenshots, they're just screaming Favela for me right now, and um, Giazza is apparently how you pronounce it. So um, I don't know if that's like a silent G or if I'm just retarded and reading it wrong, but that map's looking a lot fun for me. I know the screenshot's not on that map right now, so I'll go ahead and start playing it again. And this is this map right here is Liberation, and it's in New York, and that's why it's awesome, guys. So go ahead and play it. It's 
one of those maps that have such iconic locations in it that you can easily call it out about the castle or fighting by the fountain. For liberation, I think one of the big strategies that you want to try to follow is there's a lot of sniper sight lines and you need to be cautious when you're crossing them. All right, so I'll go ahead and pause it in that screenshot. Um, I'm not sure if this is necessarily the best view, but you just heard from the executive producer of Infinity Ward himself that this map is not going to be one that you can run a gun on very easily. It's going to be long, long ways of sights for sniper rifles. It could be like a sniper's heaven. Who knows? But um, definitely going to be a more tactical map, just as you guys can see kind of from the screenshots and what the um, Infinity Ward and people that are making this video are saying. So go ahead and play it. Don't run a gun. A little bit more methodical. Uh, don't run a gun. You just, you just heard him. Say that directly. So, Piazza is a different type of map altogether. It's a very vertical, chaotic wrap. All right, I guess I'll go ahead and pause it right here so we can kind of see the stairs. I'm not sure if the screenshot's kind of blurry. If not, it, um, hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. But you just heard him say it's um, it has a lot of verticality to it, and hopefully it looks to me it's just screaming favela. So um, it's probably going to be my favorite map, and it's definitely it's going to be a lot more close quarters. So go ahead and play the map. It. It's primarily geared towards the guys who like the really close up run and gun you got to be fast. It's a challenging map, it's a technical map, but also it's important to stick with your teammates where they're covering a few cover points and you're covering a few is definitely the way you're going to survive that map. Pause. <laughs> Uh, okay, so um, obviously you when I unpause it, you get to see what happens to um, Mr. Michael Jordan in the air there and Mr. Juggernaut pointing an RPG at him. But definitely this map is screaming favela to me. I'm really excited for this map. You just heard it. This is definitely going to be a really close quarters map. I, I mean, I think it's going to be great for game modes like Domination, Search and Destroy, just based off of the pictures that I've seen of it in the video. So I'm really excited. I just thought I would... Um, pause it here just kind of um you know follow up on what he was saying and just so you guys you know see the screenshot and everything and you guys will get to see what happens right yeah. ow that, the cool thing with modern um, warfare 3 yeah. and this entire but. season the content is that we have so many different opportunities with our season awesome multiplayer new spec ops missions Yes, you heard that right. New Spec Ops mission. So that's something I'm extremely excited about. Spec Ops is one of my... I love playing Spec Ops with my friends because it gives me something to do when I'm bored of multiplayer and when, you know, maybe you don't want to play switch screen multiplayer but you'd rather, you know, play something like Spec Ops. So that is something big for me. New Spec Ops missions. I'm not sure if there's survival, but he did say missions. I don't know if there's going to be any new survival maps except for maybe um, new maps that are released through the multiplayer in the DLC section. But new Spec Ops missions, that's something I'm extremely excited about. You heard that right, and I'm not sure when the new Spec Ops mission stuff like that's going to come out. I just know that the two maps are coming out January 24th for Xbox 360 premium users um, of COD Elite. So let's go ahead. I'm going to basically like unpause it and pause it again really fast here. So unpause. Extension from the story. That's right, and I, I'm, I'm sorry for that. I just had to get that on my system. Um, <laughs> extended campaign for Modern Warfare 3. That is insane. So, I mean, Mon def campaign is definitely my favorite mode out of all the Modern Warfares because I'm I'm just, like, emotionally attached to the campaign, and it's definitely one of my favorite modes. They're so great, I, I believe. They're very cinematic, and I'm attached to the characters, and just an extended campaign or even, like, an alternate campaign or something, that idea is just amazing to me I'm, I'm extremely hyped for that and I don't know if it's gonna be like missions after or if it's gonna be like missions in between to give you a better understanding of what happened or new and I, I don't know but I'm, I'm definitely really excited about that so we'll see how that's gonna play out in the future guys I'm gonna go ahead and play it again for you new game modes that we can add we're really trying to make sure that all right um you just heard it I'm just gonna pause it here really fast you heard new game modes added so hopefully you'll get to see some new game modes added to all playlists especially the community playlist maybe get some private match game modes more in there in the community playlist like we saw in black ops so we'll see how that goes down but I'm definitely excited for that go ahead and play it again idea of the season of content is integrated not just in the maps themselves but also within elite we have that entire super passionate super vocal audience that we can pull inspiration from we're going to start engaging the community actually in the creation of the content all right so um you saw the um what, what that guy just said right there and he did, you know he kind of did like a little knife lunge as he was saying it so maybe that that means interactive maps i don't know maybe i don't know but um 
you I mean obviously he just said that there's definitely going to be he's they're going to be incorporating the community's ideas in these new maps and it, it seems like Infinity War is going to be doing such a good job of this even better than Black Ops that who knows like maybe if like all the community they have a voting place somewhere a uh, forums and like if like all the community wants a map with like a huge tower in it then maybe you'll see like a huge tower in a map I don't know but um I definitely I'm really excited for them listening to the community on maps and personally I would like to see maps with lots of different weather you know different times of day like nighttime I really like nighttime maps like Chinatown back in Call of Duty 4 that was uh, in a map pack and I, I loved Hanoi and Black Ops even though Black Ops necessarily is my favorite Call of Duty I did like that map um, any night maps I did like um, the interactive maps that Black Ops provided like in some of their DLC and made like stockpile the one that had the door closed in and like the the snow one where the ice would break and you could like fall down if you stayed on it too long I really like those ideas in the maps hotel with the elevators and stuff like that and I, I really like that I really like weather stuff you know like on downpour it had the rain I'm not saying downpour is my favorite map um, but I do like the ideas of weather and stuff like that so that's something I'm really excited about so go ahead and unpause it for you guys it's just a much more community friendly DLC plan than we've ever had before I mean with Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer and Raven Games all contributing to the season of content the possibilities are limitless the season of Modern Warfare 3 content for Elite Premium members kicks off on January 24th, first on Xbox Live. And... Pause. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up the video, guys, right here. Then I'll play the ending for you, and that's how the video will end. So, um, you heard it. They're definitely incorporating community ideas in this whole DLC system more than ever. Something I'm extremely excited about because, I mean, you know, we I want the game to be how I want to be able to play it and not necessarily how they think it should be best. But they, most of the time, they are right, and hopefully the community will be really excited and they'll get more engaged in the game with this new DLC coming out. So um, definitely, I'm really excited about the extended campaign. I'm really excited about the um, new spec ops and stuff. And I'm um, definitely excited for the two maps and the maps they're going to be making in the future. I would really like to see some, um, maybe like some weather and some different times of day. Some of the maps, interactive maps, but that's just me personally. So leave a comment below on what you're most excited about, guys. So um, I'm really grateful that you got to watch this video. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like the video, if you learned something, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up if, if you're into that kind of stuff. And definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this. And I don't mean just subscribe and forget. I mean subscribe stay active on my channel because I, I try to upload the best I can. I, I even feature my subscribers on my channel on something I call Subscriber Sunday every Sunday or at least around that time where I'll put your gameplay on the channel or something like that. Then I upload commentaries weekly and I try to um, provide you with information that Robert Bowling's been, um, like, I guess leaking or telling you guys on um, Twitter. So, thanks for watching this video. Please stay active on my channel and if you liked it, then go ahead and subscribe and um, I'll go ahead and end the video out right here by clicking the play button and see you guys later upgrade to an elite premium membership and get monthly dlc first on your console get new maps and more first on xbox live